This is Carl Moore, Talking Management for the Globe and Mail. Today I'm delighted to speak to Peter Capelli, who's a senior professor at the Warren School at the University of Pennsylvania. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Carl. So it seems in this world it's really up to the individual employee to manage their career. Uh, the rich get richer. You, you start at a McKinsey or an IBM or something, you get to cascade down, but if you start in the middle or if you start at the bottom, you, you can't cascade up unless you have unbelievable performance. Mm -hmm. So it seems like a harsher world for people starting their careers these days. I think it is a harsher world. Uh, it's also a much more uncertain world. So I was having a conversation with a, a colleague at a public utility company. Uh, and she was telling a story about her uh, spouse and um, um, his colleagues who had gone to sort of elite business schools. And, and they had all the advantages that you would think. Uh, but their timing was off uh, in that they uh, had gone to work for you know some of the leading consulting firms, and then you know we're going to make the transition to these small startup firms, and you know really ride them up to success. Well, they happened to hit it at the moment where the economy went down, mm. and if they had actually been at a lesser school, um, if they had not had the fancy business experience, if they had gone to begin their career at like a B grade sort of company uh, that had survived the recession. Um, you know, like a public utility or something that's not as glamorous as these startups, they would have been much better off, right? Because those companies would have survived. As it were, they ended up losing their jobs, losing their companies often, and then they're scrambling now to get back into uh, the career world. And uh, those colleagues who bet slightly differently and happened to be right, uh, given where the economy went, ended up better off. So, so the uncertainty here is, uh, is quite high. Uh, and I think this is something that matters uh, for people who study careers. We are stuck in career management with a really outdated paradigm. And the paradigm is one that uh, came out of the world of vocational psychology. And uh, it was based on this idea that you could plan your career. You know, you could start in college and map it out, you know. Uh, I have a disposition in this area that seems to suit me for this kind of work over here. Uh, and I'll go into that field and I will plan to be here in five years and ten years after that. You know, the, the idea that you could plan and manage it even though your, your client company is not managing it for you, you could manage it yourself. Uh, I think that's almost impossible now. I mean, the world is so uncertain around you that you could go in with a plan, uh, but that plan is going to get knocked uh, like crazy uh, as soon as you experience reality. I have two of my favorite quotes these days. Uh, uh, one is from the U.S. Army. It just reminds people that no battle plan survives initial contact with the enemy. Mm -hmm. And even better is a quote from Mike Tyson who was asked about a fighter who was going to fight him and the plan he had to take Mike Tyson down. And Tyson says, everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth. Uh, and I think the idea, the equivalent here in career management is you go in with this plan that you've got uh, and then you confront uh, the fact that the world doesn't play out the way you anticipated. Business cycles change, companies change strategies, some skills become hot, others don't, and suddenly your plan is gone. So I think the ability to respond and react and adjust becomes more important now than the ability to plan, which is not that useful anymore.